Hey everyone, Kim Becker here with Arizona Football and the first interview at the desk in the Fox Family Digital Media Room. And of course, joining me is head coach Jed Fish. And we are here to talk about Super Bowl 56. Coach, the head coach of the LA Rams, Sean McVay, and the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals, Zach Taylor, are two men that you have worked very closely with. Can you tell us about that? Sure. But how about our new desk? Well, huh? first of all, right? Our Let's new, look at our, our digs. New, yeah. How yeah. about this? This is pretty special. This is pretty awesome that we have this going. I can't wait to see some of the interviews you're going to do uh, with our players. Yeah, it's going to be real fun. Um, much more exciting than me. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, talking about the Super Bowl, you know, it, it's, it's so awesome to see. Uh, being a part of the Super Bowl in 2018 um, was amazing, right? The 2019 game that for the 2018 season, and it's just such a – amazing week and I remember going through the week and Zach Taylor was our quarterback coach and I had my role and he and I were our offices were connecting our walls were connecting and we were constantly talking but at that point in time he was you know heading off to be the Bengals head coach right after the game and uh, I remember we took a picture in the locker room uh, right when we got there and it was like just surreal on the media day and then um, just kind of remembering how it all went and both of us were hired by Sean. And both of us just look up to Sean in, in such a way that we admire him, we respect him, we love him as a friend. And um, it's just so crazy to now be able to step back and be sitting here in Tucson and watching those two guys compete against one another on Sunday. Um, it's pretty awesome, pretty special. Well, on that note, the program that you run here in Tucson is very similar to that of Sean McVay's. Why did you decide to implement that here? Yeah, you know, I think um, I think the proof's in the pudding a little bit that um, Sean's been a head coach uh, since 2017 was his first season as a head coach, won coach of the year in his first year, went to a Super Bowl the next year, is back at the Super Bowl again, um, and then you take it, what Zach did. Zach goes to the Bengals, very similar, um, coming from Sean. Goes two and fourteen, then four eleven and one, and now he's in the Super Bowl. So we all recognize that the way you know the way you build this is the way you know is Sean's model, and we're all going to take obviously parts of it here or there, but there's no way not to want to emulate it and not to want to replicate it. And what we're able to do on offense, what we're able to do as a full program, so much of that comes from Sean comes from conversations I have with Zach on a regular basis and just so excited to, um, to watch them in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I guess all that really speaks for itself, doesn't it? Um, okay, Coach, I know that you're going to be happy with either outcome, whichever team gets that Lombardi trophy, but is there a team that you're going to be rooting for a little bit louder if they score on Sunday? I guess the Cincinnati Rams. <gasps> oh, uh, you, know, you got me there. I don't know exactly who I I'm... I thought you were going to say the Bengals. Uh, no, <laughs> no way. Uh, rooting for really a great, great football game and a great game where... Uh, both teams compete their tails off. Obviously, I have more of a personal tie with the players in L.A. Um, because of the fact that, you know, so many of those guys, the Cooper Cups of the world, Robert Woods, Aaron Donald, those guys were all there um, when I was there. Even, you know, you look at their starting linebacker, Troy Reeder. He was working the look team when I was coaching the look team up there. And, you know, Nick Scott was part of the look team. Now he's a starting safety. Eric Weddle was there. He's back. So there's such strong ties there. But on the same token, you know, so much of me looks at Cincinnati and say, you know, what type of program did they have going in? Where were we at? You know, very similar. They started 1-11, yeah. right? The, uh, you know, his first 12 games there. And I look at it and say, hey, there's, there's hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And we keep doing this thing right. And hopefully we'll be able to be in a similar situation one day. And where are you going to be watching the game on Sunday? My house. Okay. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to having people over. And, uh, you know, thought about going to the game. Yeah. But uh, I thought it was a, a better situation for us to be able to, you know, have our staff come over and enjoy it and then uh, be able to cheer them both on. Love that. Okay, we like that. Well, thank you so much, Coach. Super Bowl 56 this Sunday. I guess we'll just see what happens on Monday and see which team you're going to be making that congratulations phone call to. No question. I look <laughs> forward to it. Thanks, Kim. <laughs>